And uh, when we come back, what are we going to be doing? Well, I mean, we're going to be talking about uh, legislation. Uh, why don't we is... ask? You know what? I'm oh, sorry what? to cut you off. Oh. But we do have other people. And we've kind That's of been, true. you and I. We've been, been hogging it. Maybe we should ask them. <laughs> progressive I know progressive they, stack. Yeah, I know they're going to know. What, listeners out there. <laughs> I know they're going to know what we're going to be talking about, right? Absolutely. Why don't we ask them and introduce them? We should. Why don't we do? Why don't you do that? I, I will. Right. Uh, today in studio, as 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 always, we have Healthy Hetty. Hey, hey, hey. Holly and Steve. Hey, thanks for having us once again. Hey, hello. Thanks for being here. And uh, you guys know what we're going to be talking about today on uh, the second half. Medical yeah. cannabis. Yes. And yeah. what was specifically about it? Uh, some some changes and some um, trying to get some traction and some legislation. And we've got a big uh, convention coming up. The dates have changed for that, so we want to make sure that people know. Yeah. There's been a lot going on. Yeah, especially with medical cannabis, too, and legalization, because, yes. we, we, you know, after this new year in the election, we're waiting. We're kind of at a low point in Massachusetts, but now bills have been filed. Been right. Filed. It's time for people to come out of hibernation and get to work. Where do you stand? And medical and help these patients. We can do things, and it starts right now. And get involved. Yeah. After this break, we'll be right back to, to uh, tell you how you can do it. That's right. So stick jerks. You are listening to W. EMF Radio. In Massachusetts, a DUI can cost you more than just your license. I'm attorney John Seed, former Boston DUI prosecutor specializing in drunk driving defense. Don't let a DUI destroy your life. Call me, John Seed, today. 617-254-8000. Visit johnseedlaw.com. WEMF. Presented by the Sound Museum Boston. We are back live. Young jerks. And we're about to get into some Massachusetts State House news, politics, weed politics specifically. That's right. And uh, we've got several double, several stories. Several stories and several uh, breaking news. We've got some good news. In the last 48 hours, at least, I'd say, yeah. Yeah. No, and very excited about, um, you know, we've got two bills going forward. And a study or well, commission or whatever they're calling it. It's some kind of thing that... Uh, have you heard about this, too? No, I haven't actually okay. heard about this. Say, there's that? a couple things. Um, three things, really. Number one, there's a new legalization bill. Absolutely. That's been filed by at least uh, the Cambridge rep... Uh, oh, why can't I remember his name now? Rogers, Dave Rogers. Dave Rogers, yeah. And uh, someone else uh, co-signed it with him. Uh, this is in Massachusetts at the State House, And there's also uh, the new Senate... Majority leader. What did we call him? Is he, yeah, Senate Majority Leader. Yeah, that's leader, what right? you call him, yeah. Okay. It's not the Speaker of the House. No, that's the other side. It's that's the, the Senate yeah. Majority Leader, yeah. I guess. Okay. Yeah. The Mass State Senate, some new guy, new leader, um, Rosenberg, who uh, we've had on the old show we used to do with two hotheads. We had him call in one time. We actually spoke to him in the past, Stanley Rosenberg, um, who is actually, uh, by the way, people, you know, if you don't know, uh, he's progressive. Uh, somewhat conservative, but he is a gay man, and he does have a married partner, I believe. And uh, it's funny because, um, you know, you think he's very cool about uh, legalization because he has supported uh, medical in the past, and he's putting up this commission. But in some ways, I, we'll get into that in a minute, but uh, I don't think it's as good as news as we hope for with uh, Stanley Rosenberg at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll get into that. Okay. But, but I think the really exciting big news which I think is the most important part of this whole thing, is this medical marijuana bill. Mm -hmm. It's to fix the program. It's to re the, all, the, all the things we've been talking about for a year plus in Dig Boston, uh, starting out with the, like the King of Pop back then when it was Michael and myself working together on these things and other people joining us, and all throughout the Two Hothead show, and now the Young Jerks, we've been talking about these medical marijuana issues with caregivers, with patients, uh, with no access, with waiting for dispensaries, Job with the children like Jill and Cindy yep. and, you know, these women that we know now, Lisa, um, or their children are being denied medicine. There's a new bill yep. to hopefully fix that. And I believe the bill is HD. 1502. 1502. Thank you yeah. so much, Holly, because I thought it was a different number. But you were close. I think you said 1501. No, I said 1510, actually. Oh, 1510. Okay. okay. And thank well, 1502. You. HD 1502. We got to keep talking about what you've been talking about for all these years and keep pushing it. And, and uh, this is, like you said earlier, our chance to get involved and really get active and try to, you know, call your representative, representatives because that's who they're supposed to represent is you. So we you need, need to get you. get involved and, you know, call your, your people and say, this is what's on, uh, you know, this is the house docket and we got to get it sponsored. So Yeah, Frank's, uh, I'll probably say his last name wrong, Smizik, Smizik, 
Smaz, uh, Smizek? Smizek. Yeah, Frank Smizek. He's and I and I said this to Nikki the other day when she corrected me when I said it wrong. I said I'll get his name right when he calls into the show. Or <laughs> <laughs> responds to an email when I send him to quote him in Big Boston about this. But you know, it's like, come on, dude. I love you, co sponsor of these bills, but I wish uh sometimes some of these folks would respond a little quicker to the pressing queries. But uh <laughs> getting off that that's my personal gripe, right, Frankie? Well, yeah. I mean but I find that like a lot of times it's not that hard to get to like your state rep or your state senator, you know, to actually have a conversation with them, you know, because I know they're most likely to respond if you're yeah. your, your, and he's not my rep. So. And you just call, like yep. you just call. It's it's wicked easy. You'll talk to the the person's working the desk. They answer the phones. You say, hey, I'd like to talk to state rep so and so. I'd like to talk to state rep senator so and so. And you'll get a call back, or you'll get an email, and you can have a dialogue. And that's what people need to do right now. Ask them to support HD 1502. What this bill will do is so many good things. Number one, the biggest good thing is it's going to change the caregiver rule. It's going to change it from 1 to 1 to 10 to 1, hopefully. Yep. I mean, that would change things overnight. Huge. Amazing. And it's also going to, you know, provide protection that's not existing in the law, like employment protection. Yeah. Right. I or, mean, that is huge. huge. And, you know, these are important things. And this was um, done by patients. Right. It's Mass Patients Advocacy Alliance, uh, a committee of patients. It's all the community. We've done these protests. We've, this is all, you know, all the speaking out we've done. This is it. This is our bill, HD 1502. You need to call your state reps. You need to call the state senators. They're back in session. It's ready to call. Um, the bill's going to be listed on the website soon. You'll be able to read all the details about it. I don't think it's been fully released, but it is up there. It's co-sponsored. It's official. Um, uh, you can also, call the governor. This is, you know, how I challenge the governor. Forget the challenge about smoking out with the governor now. I don't want you to call him for that anymore. I want you to call him to support HD 1502. Say, Charlie Baker, you may not be with us on legal, but you got to help these patients. You made statements that you would help these patients. Governor DeVal Patrick did not help these patients. You're the new governor. Help the patients. You can lead. Yeah, and, you, you and, lead and that means speaking out on it and saying, you know what? I support HD 1502. We want a governor that will speak out and do what the Democrats have not done so far. The Mass Patients Facebook page has a very good layout of what the bill is, the, what problems it's going to address, exactly. and what fixes are going to um, be created because of it. Um, so it's a good spot for you to uh, go ahead and, and see the new changes. And you can check out their Facebook. I would definitely uh, check out what Nikki's doing and uh, Mass Patients Advocacy Alliance because there's a little script there on what to say. You know, you can pick your little issue because there's many issues with this medical marijuana bill. You don't have to get into every detail. But the most important thing is that you call them and you say, look, HD 1502, I want you to co-sponsor right now. I want you to get behind this. I want you to be public. I want you to be an advocate, and I want you to know why, because this is why. This is why I'm writing you. I'm writing you because I'm a medical patient, or I'm writing you because I'm a mom and my kid's suffering, and you guys are denying them medicine. Or I know a, right. a mom and her child who are being denied medicine. I'm watching this on Facebook because I know a lot of you are. This is right. the time. We need to call, email, ring that phone off the hook on Monday. It's easy to call. There's a website. Yeah. Look it up, State House. Just call. It's like Frank said, too. They want to hear from you. When you call, too, you, your one call to them in their minds. I've talked to them. I know we're friends with these folks. Your one call represents 100 other people. They think you're 100 people. That's how important yep. your call is. Your email is important, but the calls especially. And showing up is even more important. But any of these things that you can do, it means a lot. And, and it, they, It's just as simple as picking up the phone. You know, you get a smartphone in your hand, you search what the phone number is, you push the number on your phone, your space phone, you push the number and it calls it for you, and you just they answer it and you say, Hi, I want you to support HD 1502. Medical marijuana for patients. And I just posted the summary on the Facebook page for the Young Jerk. Awesome. So, you know, it's a, it's quick read, it's not long, and you can just kind of skim through it and get a feel of what it's all about, you know? It's great. I, I mean, it's it's you got to be out there and you got to get active and and um you got to have a voice. And it's so important right now. It is, you know, because there's there's patients as you know, most people listening to the show know are suffering every single day, and, and the community is trying to come together and do everything that they they can for them and help out any way they can. But this is the this is the best way. This is the best vehicle. This is the opportunity. Getting that caregiver ratio changed. You know, putting job protections, putting you know protections for parents who are, are medical patients. You know, so they can't the kids can't be taken away by DSS. You know, these kind of things weren't addressed 
in the original piece of legislation. We need to make have the better law, the best yeah. law. We need to fix these things. And it doesn't happen unless you decide it happens. You can make this happen. These reps don't want to actually do anything because they don't want to be held accountable. They'd rather just say you know nothing on every subject because then no one's mad. If they know you're mad, if they and I'm not asking you to call up and scream at them. That's the wrong approach, actually. What you want to do is be firm, be polite, right. be nice, but ask for it and demand it. Say, look, I need you to support this. This is I, I really you know I I don't want to not vote for you and not support you, state, state rep, senator. Please support this for these kids. See, Please support this for the yeah. patients. Whatever, whoever it is, support it for me. My can. I'm in pain every day. <laughs> right. I need this medicine. This is like uh, whether I work or not. Like I was, you know, I miss medicine at times because I don't have the access that I should. Yeah. And the last it's thing a politician simple. wants you to tell them is that you're you're gonna go ahead and tell other voters in your town, your friends, and your family that you know this particular rep. Didn't help you. Didn't help you. Didn't stand up for patients. Didn't stand up to, for folks who are in need. Why and should Why should medical patients uh, be fired for use? Why shouldn't they be protected over medicine? Like, well, someone using oxycodone isn't going right. to get fired. I know exactly. So why can't we pass you know? the law? Let's They're fix jammed. this. Let's fix this. This is an upgrade. HD fifteen oh two. You got a call. You High can make definition. a difference. And they do listen. Like so many times, we've done this. A lot of us have in this community. I know uh, Nikki Smokes is telling me now she's got her local rep, yeah. uh, Paul Tucker, who's about to support it. Um, you know, we've had other folks, even, you know, I'm going to call Rep Tim Toomey again. I don't know if he's going to co-sign this and sponsor it, but I tell you, we might get him. And before, he was totally against it. Like, And it's just asking him, just politely asking him, showing up, calling. That's what's made the difference. And sometimes it's not talking to him. Sometimes it's talking to the aides. Yeah. The aides still yeah. take the call. They still register. You need to call oh, on It's written down, and then the, the the rep or the senator gets a sheet, you know, or a rundown. At the, well, who called about what? Well, this is what we got. This is what people are talking about. And it was very nice when I talked to the aide um, last time I called, and I will call Monday, actually. Um, it was it was pleasant, you know, and, and, and she said to me, wow, we've got an influx of calls pertaining to this. And I was like, it really make you, it makes you feel like you are making a difference for the people who are suffering and who need this. And, and they don't have any more time or patience to wait. I mean, people need access right, right away. And there's no other recourse, you know, but there's this. And it's something <coughs> that if you can get yourself to the state house, you know, get on the MPAA, you know, mailing list, you know, when they have lobby days, if you're in the city, if you're around, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Hi, knock, knock, knock. I'm Frank Capone, and I wanted to speak with, you know, state rep uh, Donato, you know? And they say, oh, well, you know, they're, they're not here. Oh, can I take a message? Okay, fine. You know? And that's it. That's all you I have to do. I want you to support HD 1502. That right. touch right there that's is it. so impactful because, like, I've done, when you walk into a state rep or a state senator's office, there's like, you know, just the regular everyday, like, bureaucracy of, like, you know, inside, you know, talk people. or whatever, you know, people. They see every single day. When some random citizen walks in there that they've never seen before, they're, that like, isn't oh. they're like, oh, boy. <laughs> That's a they're private like, citizen yeah. just there on their own time. And they're like, oh, oh boy, what's what, what's going on? You know, and that matters. And that's something to take into consideration. So if you're walking by the state house, you know, in the middle of the day and they're in there, go in. Yeah. Go in. And let's uh, also talk about uh, the legalization, too. Thank you. Um, uh, we we kind of teased this earlier. State Senator Rosenberg um, was saying that he was you know going to have this commission, to st- a committee actually, a committee, yes, a committee to study legalization to make sure they get it right. He was on uh, you know he did some press, but specifically I listened to the interview with uh, Harold Radio with uh, my old friend Hillary Chabot and uh, Jackie Cashman, where these two women interviewed him about this legalization committee. And it was hilarious because this guy, you know, I'm, I want to like him so so often. Um, you know, he's been on a show and he's been more supportive than most of the reps uh, or state senators uh, in terms of supporting reform, which is great. But at times he says things that I just shake my head at. And, and uh, the whole time it was like, you know, they screwed up the medical marijuana. This is what's wrong with the initiative process. We'll get it right. We, this is why we're having this committee. we got to you know, figure it out and get it right and... And wouldn't you rather have uh, a thoughtful where all sides get to discuss it? These people and can't even fund schools. Yeah. Are they going to get legalization and, right? And that's what I'm saying. It's like, well, you know, the whole time he's like almost bashing the uh, initiative 
movement and the fact that we've done marijuana reform through initiative process. And, and, and it's like, how can he miss the point that if we didn't have an initiative process in Massachusetts, there would have been no changes. None. The state house would still be talking about decrim right now. Right. Yeah. They still haven't done a Cory reform, a meaningful one. They they kind of passed a half one with Deval, and that was like his. That was like one of his top three things coming into office, and they barely got it done. Yeah. The casino thing. It was all like they couldn't even get that done. It took so long. And these are things that they wanted to get done. Nobody had the consensus that they wanted to get some marijuana reform done in the state house. Still hasn't happened. Oh, if they want to pass laws against protesters, you know, and they'll get that done yeah, like, in a couple weeks. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah. That'll yeah. be out of committee by 11 in the morning, and it'll be voted on by 3. I'm surprised they don't have a def- deflation uh, Patriots law coming out. <laughs> Something about this big scandal to protect the Patriots. It's, I swear to God, I mean, this is the stuff that's important. It's illegal to play with fully inflated balls in Massachusetts. Yes. So I love, uh, you know, State Senator Rosenberg for bringing this up and, and the uh, new governor who says, oh, I'm against legalization, but I think it's a good thing we can uh, discuss it and look into it and see how Colorado does and learn from it. It's like, Meanwhile, he just sees dollar signs, just like Well, he still say no. Baker sees dollar signs. You know where his dollar signs are coming from? They're coming from the rehab. the rehab side. They're funding him. When he says, oh, I'm all about prevention and I'm going to stand with these good people in prevention against marijuana legalization, he's getting funding from those drug rehabs. Rehabs, who are yep. uh, on the corporate diet? I mean, on the uh, government diet. The state yeah. government the funds diet. them. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of insider BS that goes on with the DPH head who went to a drug right. rehab yeah. for a big raise after she lobbied on the. Ju- we could go on and on. Right. I'm ranting. Iron again. Triangle. No, but it's the Iron Triangle. I mean, this <sighs> is what we deal with in Massachusetts, and we're expected to leave legalization in the hands of these people. And they're going to get it right. You know? We, we, you know what? It's just a joke. It's like, oh, great. I'm glad you guys talk about it, bring it up in the press, and, and then I get to listen to the other couple Herald Radio networks. Uh, you know, I'm gonna, I try to give this guy a pass. I try to be nice. Tom Shattuck. Yeah. You remember him? We, we, we had a little beef with him we at one did, point. He got Chad, mad at me. Yeah, I was nice to him on after. The, on the Herald yeah. Radio. Yeah. He's now going to show please. the morning drive. It's it's uh, on Herald Radio, but it's also broadcast on like 1510 or whatever, AM and some other stations, with that Adrian Cohen. And as soon as they heard news, it, uh, news about this legal, it was all like, oh, these dumb idiot stoners. Uh, couldn't he said? Oh, uh, Shattuck was like, oh, the pro- Look at all the problems in Colorado and the unintended consequences of like what? I know. <laughs> oh, the governor said some bad things about it. It's like the governor said bad things before. You know, wh- do we expect people to change their stripes? These politicians usually they don't. Tom no, Shattuck, no. like, wake up, look at reality. They make a living off being chicken little. And then, he, then he says, uh, Shattuck says too. He goes at the end, right? This is how they close the segment after you know Adriana said all her ridiculous, stupid reefer madness. Um, like a true, like I, I don't want to get too much into her, but this woman, her favorite thing is like you know talking about all the rock stars she's met as a groupie. Like this is what like I've listened to her like four times, and like she's so silly. This That's is the the, the type of woman that she. I'm really, sure she wasn't smoking any cannabis. No, she, I don't think she was. Stars. I think she was sniffing some spandex. I think she's like <laughs> Brett Michaels, you know that type of girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? She's in the front row looking pretty. Like, oh, Brett Michaels really liked me. That's what she's saying on the air. I mean, it's so goofy. Oh, so, um, you know, in the, and spite, but we're, you know, us, us weed heads are the, are, the, are the nutcases out there, right? You yeah, know? I, I mean. They're Christ, probably I, alienating half of their friends. Yeah. I mean, some people would say I'm a little vain and a little caught up. And, you know, I wouldn't deny it. But, you know, I don't, even <laughs> I don't sit there and talk about all the famous people I've been around. And I've been. You know, I, this will be the only time I ever say this. I've been in the room with a lot of famous people. I've even worked with some of them. But yeah. all right, Jesus, I've seen you know, it. I've, I was yeah. in those rooms yeah. too. Sometimes, and, you know, it's like, but you don't sit there and like, oh yeah, he, he, she, you know, she, uh, whatever. We're getting off track. <laughs> I met most Stephen Stone twenty four one time, but yeah. I'm not going to like stop the world to tell you about yeah. it. Yeah, and the Herald Radio thing. Let's get because I'm <laughs> we're destroying them today. I love it. I love it because I hate that that show. Tom Shattuck. That show. He leaves it at the end. He's like. Uh, of all the problems in Colorado right now, it couldn't happen to a nice bunch of people. You serious? His radio show couldn't happen to a not, not, nice bunch of people. His his uh, whole Boston Herald radio, all the hate on there. It's, that's it couldn't how they make their money. Yeah. You know, it's it's the same kind of Fox News style <laughs> of you know just complete pandering. You know, jaded and and. You know, completely skewed news. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And yeah. they're dinosaurs and they're dying. Chamber. Yeah. 
So big deal. The uh, dinosaur dies. Um, but, you know, the, the Rosenberg thing, again, I just got to get back to that. It's like we're going to wait for him to do it. So, I mean, but that, <laughs> that, but that right there, I mean, in and of itself is a good sign. It like is. On the I surface, admit, it you know, is. It is. Because they're, they're basically what they're doing is they're resigning themselves well, we've to the fact that legalization is just going to happen. We've done no it what. twice before, and on the third time, maybe they might wake up, but I doubt it. I mean, seriously, we beat them in 2008 with Decrim, 2012 in medical, and now we've told them, I've been telling them, I wrote it down on paper first, I was the first one to write this down on paper, 2008 Decrim, 2012 medical, 2016 legal, nothing's stopping it, nothing's changing. Did they changing. say that on the shirts one year? We should put it on, you well, yeah, Mascan did, they yeah, used that. that. I wrote, that. It. I wrote yeah, the yeah, theme yeah, for them one year. Yeah, yeah, that was one on the board. We should put that on our next shirt. We should put that yeah. on our next, well, it'll... Yeah. We 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 were part of that. We, we were, were yeah. there all that whole period yeah. of time, and yeah. it's uh, you know, Mr. Rosenberg, our Senator State Senator Rosenberg, welcome to the party. <laughs> we we want to grow. We weed. Save seat for you. We want to grow weed. We don't want a monopoly. So if you're asking people on the committee and you want some testimony, that's the testimony. Patients are sick of getting. Patients and consumers are sick of getting uh, big. Gov, you know, big government and big corporations trying to monopolize this thing, and that's what you're going to get if you get something. You know, most likely through the state is you're going to get you know three or four you know authorized places, and you're not going to be able to grow your own. Why don't we yeah. do it the opposite? Why don't we do microbrew? Right. Like you know, everyone loves the microbrew. Everyone likes Sam Adams. Everyone likes Harpoon. Why don't we do that marijuana? Say, hey, you can't grow more than what did we say? Uh, what was it? Forty nine plants. Grow however much you want, but just realize that the federal government might come and, and roll you well, over if you grow too many. Let's do this. Let's like, like 49, no permit, no no regulation. We said yep. that. And then, uh, you know, you can give out permits for, like, these microbrews. Like, I don't know what the number will be, like micro grows, mm. but limit it to a certain amount and just be like, we're going to give out, like, a... Uh, 500. Yeah. Or even like if you want in a controlled place, you know, build a building, you know, and it'll be this it'll be a state run building and and you rent space like breweries do now, you know? Like yeah, but rip- don't don't give it to like one or two people. No, give it to like no, no, no. 500. It would, it would be like the sound museum. Yeah. You know? Like when yeah. you know this is the thing. Yeah. When they had 100 That's people apply to the DPH for the medical dispensary permits, 100 plus. 181. When yeah, 181. Thank you, Holly. That was very good. I think it was yeah, it was the number, right? 181. Um why don't we do the same thing illegal and be like, all right, 181. If you pass these ten things, whatever they are, you know, you got to pay the the fee, you got to get a license, you got to get a uh, insurance bond, you got to uh, disclose who your you know who your uh, partners are, you know, all these little yeah. things that you red tape, you know, just like anyone else. Public disclosure. If you if you don't do these things, you can lose your license later. Everyone gets in business. Let's just have 180 of them right. and see who does well. Yeah. Let the market start to pick who's going to stay open and exactly. who closes. That's exactly. what the market's supposed to do. I mean, that's the free market. The only kind of, yeah, you know? So that's what you should do, Rosenberg. I don't know. The only kind of laws I'd like to see are like purity laws. <laughs> yeah. You know? Keep it How clean, it? safe, and away from kids. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know, like they have for beer in Germany. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we have the Young Jerks. The phone number is 617-500-7100. We're getting all about weed today. This is uh, WEMF Radio, too, by the way. Oh, wondering. we haven't even mentioned, too. I'm sorry I'm jumping all over you, Frank, but the... Uh, we did sort of mention it, but the New England Cannabis oh, yeah, Convention yeah, come yeah, up in yeah. Boston. Park Plaza uh, moved to February 21st and 22nd. Yep. The full lineup's out. Get your tickets right now. Canaticket.com. Get a ticket because that thing's selling out. Like I saw, yeah. they, they were listing uh, on one of the CBS or whatever that website is. They were doing the uh, half-off price, $25. I think they're yep. still up there. Yep. At one point, they were listing how many tickets were sold, and there were hundreds of them. Uh, it's selling very well. Don't get shut out. Uh, I'm hopeful that they that, that was the plan to have tickets for sale still that day at a, maybe a little higher price. But why chance it? If you know you're going, right. get a ticket right now because don't get sold out because, uh, you know, the vending spaces are sold out. Yep. We have a lot of announced speakers. It's going to be huge. Mickey Martin's coming. Addison DeMora is yep. coming out from uh, Steep Hill Labs. Yep. The yeah. top number one testing they, he's a pioneer of this it's thing. Huge, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're getting, and he's a local guy. Yeah, yeah. he's from Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, we we have Shailene Title speaking. Yeah. Um, THC we, staffing. Yeah. yeah. It, you need a job in this industry. She's bring your resume. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's so much good things happening, and then all the vendors. We got Green Side Up. We oh, got man. Yeah. Hey, you know, we have all these uh, Perverse Perverse Healthy Eddie. Yeah, we'll be there. Uh, Wellness Connection of Maine, Boston Gardener, The Hempist. Uh, yeah, Green Side Up. It's I mean, it's HTG. 
It's great. There's going to be so many please. people there. Yeah. Chris yeah. Perone's uh, going to be uh, hosting one of the events, uh, uh, panels on Saturday yep. with Diane Russell. Yeah, yeah. Main state rep. Um, it's going to be great. And uh, you also have Mickey hosting a panel on uh, Saturday. No, actually speaking on Saturday and hosting a panel on Sunday on edibles. Oh, okay, great. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to be hosting some panels too. So, I mean... I'm excited. This is exciting. It is. And you're going to be on a panel, too, Holly. I am. What do you do? What panel are you doing? Um, I'm speaking about, um, just in general, for medical uh, cannabis, you know, patients and medical cannabis. So what? it's uh, it's going to be exciting. I'm very, very looking forward to it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect I, panel I was, for you, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just... Um, you know, it's 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 an opportunity and a pleasure to be part of it. I'm just looking forward to it and trying to do some really cool stuff surrounding it. And it's shaping up, like you said. I mean, there's no vendor spots left. There's no sponsors left. There's Park nothing Plaza. left. Park yeah. Plaza. I mean, you got the best spot. This this, this place is no, going to be awesome. Money to rent out yeah. Yeah. the whole yeah. weekend. So. Coming out, meet awesome people. Saturday and Sunday. Have a great time. And it's still affordable. You know, yeah. you know, it's a lot of these things. You go to these uh, trainings and expos. They want five hundred dollars or a yeah. thousand. Or you pay an entrance like, fee, and then you get to pay to get into the certain, you know, talks and things like yeah, that. This is just twenty five bucks a day. Yeah. And there's a lot of giveaways too. You know, it's worth it. there's tons of stuff that they, you're going to be able to say like jobs and stuff. And not only that, but giveaways. I mean, we're we're raffling off an email that day yeah. and a pat. And oh, it was. I'm not going to tell you what the other one is. And all the networking and the people you get to meet that day. I mean, it's just going to be an amazing. If you're yeah. into this stuff in education and knowledge the and connections. Yeah. It's, it, this is, I'm so happy this is happening. In, it's going to be a lot of fun. Boston. You know, First ever fun. Cannabis Expo in Boston. Pumped. Can't yeah. Wait. February 21st, 22nd. If you don't know about it, check it out. Um, we'll be giving away some more tickets to it too, hopefully. Definitely on our Facebook. Uh, I don't know, maybe if anyone wants to call in, we, we might be talked into giving a pair away. Mm-hmm. 617-500-7100. We'll add you to our list. We've got, we've got, wait, we've got three people on we the list. We've got three. We've got three people on the list right yep. now. We already have three? Yeah, yeah. we've got three people in the list right now. I thought we were only giving two pairs away. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. We, 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 we gave the first one away. We got real excited last we week. We did. And we gave like the first pair away like right away. We didn't have you, know? you, you didn't we didn't have you to keep us on track. And we better so talk to Mark. Everybody yeah. else, no, we still I have another to pair, right? All right. Talk to Mark. All it's right. all good. Yeah. yeah. Well, I get At any rate, I'm a big part. It's a little of this, back so of the house we, stuff. We can, we'll we'll we talk about it. more of that later. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, if you want to, uh, you know, message us on Facebook, we'll throw you in the pool for that uh, extra ticket that we have kicking around. And, uh, or you could you could uh, maybe maybe call yeah maybe, maybe. I don't know I think we're about wrapping it up yeah, so I, I see some people time. calling in right now but you know what actually they're uh, we do have to wrap it up yeah I'm sorry. that's I'm true sorry we get a little too excited for phone we, calls here. yeah <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll talk to you next week we got a uh, twisted dreams radio coming up coming yeah. a little bit later they got a big event and, and uh, they also have another uh, twisted dream radio is doing that big dab wars final coming up Ooh, be a yeah. big uh, like a live event you can go to oh my gosh nice. check it out be okay. sure look on their facebook there's going to be more details posted That'll i'm looking forward time. to that yeah definitely yeah very good very and we good. love uh wemf radio yeah we normally you hear the outlaw road show before us yeah, yeah. we're also lion spalding cool. that's mm-hmm. right great i love his show yeah oh we have a phone call now oh we Dave's do calling us again. And Dave Crespo. i think dave wants to take the call actually we yeah, we'll take here. it. Hello, Carla. Hello. Hello. Hi, who's this? Hi, this is Kristen. Hey, Kristen, you are persistent. We decided to take your call. Uh, what's going on? You got something to weigh in on? What? Do you have something? To, <laughs> do you have something to say? Have you been listening to the show? Do you want to make I was a comment? Just listening. You said to call. I literally got your number in the nick of time, so I called. What I can't hear her now. She called. Yeah. An extra ticket. Oh, she wants oh, tickets. Oh, you want to get added into the pool? Why? Why should we give you tickets? Get added into the pool. I would love that. Why? Why should we give them to you? Why? Oh my goodness! Because I am a cannabis enthusiast at its finest, and I'm really excited about it. I just found out like two days ago that they're hosting an event in Boston. Do you do you, do you listen what? to this show regularly? No, my friend just told me because I, I I'm, was aware that you guys are having. A All right, listen to me. Your, your name is Kristen. Is it yeah. Kristen? All right. We're, we're actually we we have to check and see how many more tickets we have because we actually gave more tickets away than we thought. But however, okay. however, we are gonna we are gonna work this out and hopefully get some more tickets. So we want to give it to our best listeners. We have a lot of listeners, and we did did take your call. Keep calling next week. Listen in, and uh, I think we of might be able to help you out. All right. Of Thank course. you for calling. We appreciate it. We're the Young Jerks, and uh, say hello to Frank and, uh, and Holly. Thank you. Thank you very much for calling, Kristen. 
Of course, guys. I will talk to you soon. And Sounds good. And even, e- e- either way, we hope to see you at the convention. Even if we can't get you some tickets, we hope to uh, see you there and, and you introduce yourself. Right on. You said it's only twenty five dollars, right? <laughs> <laughs> if you pre get them now, yes, but at yeah. the door we can't okay. guarantee that price. Yeah. What's that what is it at the door? Uh we, we don't know. We don't I know. think it's gonna be thirty five, I think. Okay. If that they don't did. sell out. Okay. But that's uh, yeah. still very that's still a great price. It is. Especially it is. for what Especially for what be. you'll be getting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you guys there, I'm sure. Sounds good. Thank you for Thank calling. you very much. She sounds very nice. Of course. Yeah, thank you, Kristen. That was nice. That was a nice yeah. last call. I yeah. knew, uh, first, we should actually just find out who she is and give her tickets, because she was our first she time She was calling. very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I was getting yeah, kind of rough on her, wasn't it? Oh, a but it's bit. okay. She, I give people a hard time. At least she was listening to the show. She, she was. Told it, you know, you know what? Let's, 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 we'll have a vote after. I think, because uh, our show's run down, but I think we are almost unanimous that we, we want to get Kristen. We can put her in that. We can put her in the hat. Because even when I kind of teased her and like like kind of like like she wasn't going to get the tickets she was still nice she was like I'll go and it's okay $35 I at the like door her. yeah I, I, that, you know, I, I think she won me over alright well, well, well we're going to powwow about that we're and, in uh, the pool that's right especially but, uh, if we hear from her next week absolutely yeah. absolutely. Right. we are the Young Jerks this is WMF Radio and uh, we're going to shuffle on out of here we'll be back next week yes we will 6pm that's right uh, till 7.30 and uh, we'll be back with more next Saturday see you then it's out W-E-M-F Radio, presented by the Sound Museum, Boston. In Massachusetts, a DUI can cost you more than just your license. I'm attorney John Seed, former Boston DUI prosecutor, specializing in drunk driving defense. Don't let a DUI destroy your life. Call me, John Seed, today, 617-254-8300.